Like she said, my name is Priscilla Sims Robertson, and I am an assistant professor in the School of Nursing here at UTC and teach in the nurse practitioner program. But in addition to being a nurse educator, I'm also a forensic nurse, which a lot of people don't know anything about. But forensic nurses are specially trained to work with individuals who have experienced some type of violence or trauma or have been in the judicial system in some way. So that gives you a little bit of background on what I came up with here. So first of all, I want everybody to raise your hand if you have a smartphone. Okay, I think that's 100%. Now, put your hand down. <laughs> now raise your hand if you've ever used an app on your smartphone. So Google Maps, Twitter, Facebook, I think that was 100% too. So everyone here is part of the 77% of American adults who own a smartphone. And when people use smartphones, research has found that 84% of the time, people are using some sort of app or application on their phone. So I started thinking about applications that can actually help people. So think, have you ever had a friend or a family member who has had a problem or trouble and not known where to turn to or where to get help? So the idea for a creative project that I've come up with is developing an app for use on smartphones that is specific to the Chattanooga and Hamilton County area that compiles resources, community resources, nonprofit organizations, different companies that help people deal with and address problems that they have. So for example, if you have a friend who's in a domestic violence situation, do you off the top of your head know how to get them in contact with the local domestic violence shelter? If you have a friend or family member who's been sexually assaulted, do you know how to get them in touch with the local rape crisis center? Or did you even know that we had a rape crisis center here in Chattanooga? If you have a friend or family member who has an alcohol or drug addiction problem and really wants help and recovery, do you know different resources in town that can be accessed? So my vision for this application is to pull all of this information together in one place and identify it by problems. So teachers, doctors, nurses, guidance counselors, social workers, community members themselves can have access to this application. And when a problem arises, the application can help people get in touch with local resources. So as an example, this is one example that's out there for another community in the US. This one's specific to stalking, domestic violence, and sexual assault. So the person simply opens the app, chooses what they're interested in learning about, and then they can find more information about medical services, mental health services, reporting options, or campus resources, because this one was specific to a college. So that is one example of how this application can work. If you search apps for Chattanooga, there are quite a few. However, there's nothing that's similar to this. So I think this could really make a difference in people's lives and improve thousands of lives across Chattanooga. Thank you.